guys, today I have a Timu haul. It has been a while since I have brought you a Timu haul, but today I have so much fashion items that I want to share with you guys. So I've got some really nice layering pieces for fall, and these are some really good quality items. I was blown away by this haul this time on Timu. Most everything that I got was so good and I cannot wait to share these things with you. So let's get started with this fall fashion finds from Timu. So I'm gonna start off with this first blazer. This is so nice, you guys. It's a wool blend blazer. I did pick this up in a large. I normally will size up with Timu. So my normal size would be a medium and I will put my measurements in the description box for you guys. But this, I did pick up in a large and I am so surprised by the quality of this. So let me just kind of show you what this looks like far off and I can button this up if you want to see this. My blazers I usually will leave unbuttoned anyway but it's a two button blazer. No bunching or anything. It fits really nicely and it is in a size large. This comes in I think some other colors but I love the brown. Thought it was really just an essential to have and this is really nice you guys. I am so shocked by the quality of this one. It actually has a full silk lining on the inside of this, and then it does have some top functioning pockets, two buttons that are the really nice gold buttons. Let me show you this up close detail. Really nice, the button detail on this one, and then you do have buttons on the bottom of the sleeve that are that tortoise look. This is a great quality blazer, really surprisingly. And I think this will be a great work blazer. If you like to wear them casual like me, this will be a great blazer to wear with jeans as well. But a really nice fall essential into winter because this has a wool blend feel, but it's not itchy and it has a full lining on the inside that's super nice. Now, this is one of the pricier items on Timu. This is $29.19, but seriously, the quality of this one is so surprising. It's really nice. If you can't tell, I'm really excited to show you these pieces because when I tried them on, I was like, man, these are good. You know, going on the website, you can't ever tell what that material is going to be like, but some of this stuff looks really good and I was super excited. So this is a faux leather jacket, you guys, faux leather jacket, and it's super soft. Now it does have a little bit of sound, as you can see, like when I'm kind of moving a little bit, there's just a tiny bit. It's nothing overwhelming. This is so nice, the detail that's on this. So you do have a top pocket that's faux. It looks like it's a top pocket, but it is just there for looks. It has some really nice seaming detail that's flattering. And then the neckline is this notch collar neckline. And then you ha do have these covered buttons all the way down. Really nice at the bottom, the shape of it. I think it's really good. It's a nice length. It hits me right at my hip bone. I did size it to a large with this one as well. Super nice. Just a classic faux leather jacket. That's a little bit long in the sleeve, so I did have to roll it up, but it looks nice if you have to roll it up like I do. So good. It's super soft. It's like buttery soft. It's a really nice one. And then this one is over $20 as well. It does retail for $21.59. And keep in mind, these were the prices that I paid for them when I purchased them. I know a lot of times, depending on popularity, some of the prices may fluctuate, go up a little bit, or they may even get a little bit lower. So this is the price that I paid for them when I purchased them. Such a good one. If you want that really nice flattering, buttery soft faux leather jacket, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, this one's a good one to try out. So next up is this textured drapey cardigan or an open front jacket, however you want to say it. I did size up to a large in this one as well. I love the color of this one, but this one doesn't excite me as much as all the other things that I'm going to be showing you. It has a nice collar detail. Let me show you an up close of the texture. You see that texture on here? If you like that kind of texture, it's really nice. Of course, the sleeves are long, so I can roll them up, and then you can see the underside of what that would look like, but it's a good medium weight you can see that it looks like it's a little bit shorter in the back and kind of comes down in the front. Color's gorgeous. Wanna wear this as a work look, you can do that or you can do it more casually. But then this one, the price is a little bit lower than that first two jackets that I showed you. This one is $12.99. So a really good price for this one. When I order things, I have no idea what my mind is thinking. So I just told you that most of the time things run a little bit small. So I usually will size up to a large. For some reason in a sweatshirt, I size to my normal size medium, and you can tell this is a little bit tight. I was really excited about this sweater because I love fall so much. So this says, just a girl who loves fall, really beautiful. Now, I was surprised when I got this. It is a little bit tight though. I don't know why. In a sweatshirt, I usually size up to a large anyway. So I don't know why I got a medium in this one, but this is really nice. The material on this one is not what you would think of with a sweatshirt, and the inside is not like that fleece that you, you can see. It almost has a terry material 
on this. But I love how it has a contrasting sleeves and the collar is that orange color, beautiful. And I love football. I mean, college football, that's me. Orange is my team. This is the wrong color orange. It needs to be a little bit brighter, but I mean, this is good. Football, pumpkins, everything with my kids. I love to do every all of those little fall activities with the kids. So this was like a perfect sweatshirt, but I cut it in the wrong size. But it has a nice length. You can actually even go down on this and probably wear this with leggings if you wanted to do that, but definitely size up for that generous, loose sweatshirt feel. The price on this one is $10.79, so a really good price on this as well, but just a cute fall sweatshirt. And I was really surprised. I thought this would be a print, but it's not. It's almost like it's painted on. It's really neat. I love this. You can kind of see that up close that it's not a print that's just been screen printed on. It's actually like in the material. So really nice. Love this one, but size up on this one. Oh my gosh, this next one may be my favorite thing that I bought from this haul. It is so beautiful. Look at the color, first of all. I don't have a moto jacket that is this color, and this one is so brilliant and beautiful. Look at all the zipper detail that you have on this. Really nice. And then at the bottom, I have to roll my sleeves up because just everything is really long on me in the sleeves. But I like this because it's a faux, a faux suede feel and it's lightweight. So you can roll those sleeves up and it doesn't look bad at all. Super nice. Now this hits me right at the waist. You can see all of this detail on the hardware. It's so nice. The hardware is a silver tone hardware, but this blue is gorgeous. I love this color. When I saw this, this was the thing I most anticipated because I loved the color of this and I just could not wait to see how this fit. Now, I did size up to a large in this one. I'm actually going to show you a similar jacket a little bit later that is very similar to this one, but I did size to my true size medium just to see because for myself, I wanted to see how it was going to fit. So, this is really nice. I probably can't zip it because I don't really zip my moto jackets anyway. I don't like the way that looks. I like the open look better to it. So, really nice in this bluish color like this peacock blue color is absolutely stunning you guys it's right at the waist really nice sleeves are too long so you can see how they look when i do roll them up but the best thing about this jacket is the price it's 14 dollars 97 like i was blown away by the price and because the price was like under 15 dollars, i did not expect much from this jacket but i am so completely surprised by how much i like it it's smooth it's nice. It fits good. You have stretchy room in it. I'm just blown away by this price tag for what you're getting. And I'm just wearing this cami because it's easier for me to show you all these pieces and try them on easier with just a cami on. So that's why everything you're seeing is with this same cami. Next up is this jacket. It is a more elegant, dressier option. It has a herringbone design. You can see that. This is a purple and a white tone. They have some other colors and it has this higher notched neckline. It is just an open front. It has this seaming detail in the middle here. It makes it a little flattering and it also has some side pockets. It's your longer length style. I think this is a really good work look. It's more expensive looking with that herringbone design. Now this I did size up to a large and I actually think this is way oversized. I think I would have done fine staying true to size in a medium. So you might want to keep that in mind with this one. I think this one may run a little bit truer to size. It is fully lined. So you've got that silky lining on the inside of this one as well. And the price on this one is a little bit pricey. It is $23.97, but the quality is there. This is a really good quality jacket that looks great with those wide leg trousers and those crop flares just looks really good as a work look or you can wear it casually like me with some jeans. Next up is this sweater. This is horrible, but I did want to show it to you. It is this sweater. It's like a shaker stitch sweater. It's got these lines and this is almost like a dusty mauve color with cream stripes throughout it. A v-neck. I was excited because I love sweaters for fall and winter time. This is the itchiest sweater I think I've ever put on. This, when I looked at it, reminded me of a rug, like an area rug. That's what it reminded me of. The, I don't know, it just looks cheap. It feels cheap. The price on it is $16.47. So it's actually more expensive than that beautiful tealish moto jacket that I showed you. I did get it true to size in the medium, so it does fit good. But the thing is, it just feels like it just feels itchy and it looks like an area rug. I know I'm doing the whole monochromatic look and just keeping this same color cami on, but this would look gorgeous with any color cami underneath it or layering tee. Now this is a moto jacket that is 
just like the blue one that I showed you earlier, but it's in a different color. It's also a different price, but it's also in a different size. So you can see it's got the really nice hardware on it. It's at the waist, just like the other one. Now the blue one was in a large, this one is in a medium. So this one is my true size and the sleeves fit me a lot better in this one. I actually don't even have to roll them up. It still fits in the bust and in the waist area. Of course, I don't zip them up, but this is nice. This is that faux suede material, super soft. These jackets are so good. This this white color is so pretty to wear, especially in winter time. That winter white look is just so pretty. Pop some red under this. Oh, that's such a good look. This is really nice, fits true to size. Now this one is $16.97. So this one is $2 more than the blue one that I showed you, but they're exactly the same, just a different color and a different size. But I really like this one. These are good. These are so good. I'm so surprised that these are under $20. So up next is this brown drape jacket. And I actually had to look twice to make sure that I had seen the price on this one correctly because again, it blew me away. This is $11.69 and this is so nice. This is a faux suede, so you can see this faux suede material, but it's super soft. It's softer than the other moto jackets that I've shown you in this same kind of material. This is good, you guys. So it has that drape style that does have some zipper detail in here. Really nice. This color is gorgeous for fall. I did size it too large. As you can see, the sleeves are way too long, but this is easy because it's that thinner material to just roll up the sleeves and then you kind of pop a little bit of a darker color on here, which gives it a completely different look. So you can see how it will look if you didn't. But then you can see if you roll the sleeves up, it pops that darker color on it and makes it really nice. So this is a good one, you guys. It's nice and lightweight, feels good, drapes nicely. I did size up. I think you could probably get by with your regular size because this does have a generous sizing to it. So I think this is just so nice, you guys. This material, this is soft. This is this is good. And I couldn't believe that it's only $11.67 or $11.69. But anyway, it's under $12. I mean, it like blew me away. I couldn't believe it. I had a double take on that one because I thought it would be a little bit more than that. But this is nice. Definitely worth that $12 price tag. Next up is this zip up jacket. I sized it to a large in this one as well. I don't think I would have needed to. I think a medium might have worked because I'm gonna zip it up and show you how much room I have in it. So it does have some generous sizing on this one. I think you could stay true to size if you wanted to. The sleeves are a little bit long, but these are easy to roll up again. It gives you that pop of darker color from the inside of this one. This is a nice lightweight. I got this in purple. This comes in other colors, but it's absolutely beautiful. This one actually is $12.99. That's how much I paid for this one. And I was actually shocked by the price on this one. It's not as soft for some reason as the brown one that I just showed you, but even though it's made out of the same kind of material, it's not quite as soft as that one, but I still think this fits nicely and it's a good look. All these jackets are great for layering that I'm showing you. So the last thing that I want to show you is actually a handbag, but I wanted to try this because this was like that puffer style and I thought it might be neat. So you can carry it by these handles. They are the same color, just a little bit lighter. They're like an orange tone color on here, gold accents. And then it's just kind of open on the inside. You do have a button closure on this. And then it comes with another strap, which when I opened this, I was like, where am I supposed to put this strap? There's no D rings, no little small clips or anything to put them on. So I'm gonna assume that we're going to stick them on one of the handles and then put it across on the one diagonal from it and see how this is gonna look as a crossbody because apparently you can wear it as a crossbody as well. But I think this would look better if it had some kind of like small ring or something on the side to attach them to the sides and put them across by. I think it would lay a little bit better, but we're gonna try this and we're gonna see what this looks like. So that's the only thing I can come up with is you're gonna have to snap it to one of these in the front and then the one diagonal in the back so it can lay cross body. But let's just see how this is gonna look. Okay, well, first of all, that's as long as it gets. So maybe you're not supposed to wear it cross body. Maybe you're supposed to just wear it over the shoulder. Let's do that. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> maybe this is how you're supposed to do it because it definitely isn't cross body it's more like a big huge belt bag sling bag if you're wearing it cross body with this strap because i have adjusted it as long as it'll get so this is as long as it'll get so i guess you can wear it as a shoulder bag and this would be what it looks like if you did it as a shoulder bag or you could just carry it with these on the crook of your arm or just hold them in your hand like that but this is the it almost looks like a peacock that's the strap. It's made out of a silky material, kind of almost like a seatbelt material. It's got your gold hardware on this one, but I'm not a fan of this bag. Uh, just to be honest with you, I don't really care for it. I, I like a bag with organization. This has none in it. it, just has a zipper pocket in the 
inside and it's really dark. I don't like a dark lining on the inside and it does retail for $15.99. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this fall fashion Timu haul. So I hope you have found this video enjoyable. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button because I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.